uh, God tells uh, Israel that my house shall be a house of prayer. Because back then they used to meet in a temple. And that's where they used to... And they also met at a tabernacle to pray. So they had the tabernacle, the temple, and then the Jews start meeting in uh, the synagogues to pray. And then the church came and we start meeting in buildings. But before they start meeting in buildings, they met in homes to pray. And even Jesus said, you, you can make your closet a prayer. Uh, that could be your temple. Uh, so we're supposed to pray privately and publicly. But you can't have a church if you don't have prayer. You can't have a church if you can't have prayer. So let's start our service in prayer. Father, guys, just thank you for everybody that's here. For those that are that are on their way. Pray you keep us all in good spirit. Help us with our attitude towards ourselves. Help us to give ourselves grace. Help us to give others grace. Help us not to be critical of people. Forgive me, God, when I have been overcritical of people. Too hard on myself. Forgive me, God. I just pray as we get ready to worship you that you prepare our hearts and mind for your presence. You say it, two or three gather together in, in your name. There you are in the midst. So, Jesus, we trust that you are here. We're not worshiping the TV. We're worshiping you, God. We, we come for you, Jesus. So I pray you make yourself known today, uh, this morning. And please help us with this new week. Sunday is the beginning of a new week, and we decided to start this new week with you. So I pray you bless us so we can bless others. Help us to fix our eyes on you. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, the first song I have for you is called Enter the Gates. There's a Bible verse that goes with that in Psalms 104. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his court with praise. Don't you love that? Enter his gates with thanksgiving. In this court with praise. And there's another verse I'd like to read for you. It's in Isaiah 42, 10. Sing to the Lord a new song. Praise Him from the ends of the earth. So, why should we praise Him? Why should we praise God? Anybody? Why should we give God our best? Why should we sing to him? Isaiah 52, 9 answers that question. Burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has confirmed his people, or comforted his people. So God is a God of comfort. He has redeemed Jerusalem. So know that God is here to comfort us. And he is our redeemer. To, to redeem somebody is, is, it's a, is to win them over. It's to save them. It's, it's to buy, buy them. It's a vigorous speech, of course. God didn't buy us with money, but he, he bought us with his blood. It's through his blood that we have the forgiveness of sins. It's through his blood that we have salvation. So let's stand up, if you can, and worship God.
next song is a song that touched me years ago. Uh, hopefully this song will touch you. It's called Walk Into The Room. It's a beautiful song about when Jesus walks in the, in the room, everything changes. Just think about it. If Jesus, the Son of God, just walked into the room, everything would change. He would start touching people and they would be healed right away. He would speak some words that would inspire you. His words would change you. And so my prayer is that Jesus will walk in the room.
God. Amen. All right. The next song uh, is a song that touched my mother-in-law uh, years ago. She was going through a difficult time. It's called Oceans. Could you tell me why, tell the, uh, the church why Oceans has uh, touched your heart? So my prayer that this, this song, as this song lifted up Janet, maybe this song will also lift you up.
the last song uh, we get into before we go into our study uh, is called Man of Sorrows. It's a sad song, actually. Uh, the reason why the sad song is so sad is because it, you're not going to want to hear this, but it's our sins that put Jesus on the cross. And so Jesus had to go through a lot of pain, a lot of suffering to save us. So this song is called Man of Sorrows.
then there's, I'm going to ask that you spend alone time with Jesus in prayer.
Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to go to the table now and uh, get into the Word.